So I'll tell you something. The word Judah means praise. Simple. Praise. They came against the praise of God. <laughs> and they, they ran to the glory of God cloud and they couldn't get in. <laughs> It's like being steel against steel. Now it was like uh, I, I call their their stuff more like what I call uh, the, the, the soft metals like gold. Can't come against your steel. <laughs> so you, you like steel. <laughs> when you praise God, you become the glory of God. So an unmovable object. That's right. So you are unstoppable force. And and and, 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 and be very be very loving in your praise. <laughs> very loving in when you when you pursue God like this. Forgive folks. Love folks. And guys, if you remember your first love, how you felt when you first got saved. I'm going back to that again. Yeah, when you, how you felt when you first. When I got saved, God awed me. Drug dealer, drug smuggler. What about says, people. heaven rejoice over what? That one just, one unjust man getting saved. So go back to that honeymoon. Go That's back right. to that party. Go Amen. back to how Stay it was. there. And don't say, well, the church. And don't quit trying to blame everybody. Don't let nobody dictate your devotion to God. Nobody. That's like a husband and wife and somebody telling you, man, you can't make love to your wife that way. How are you going to tell me what I can do? In my, in my it's, bed. It should be the same thing with your God. That's right. How are you going to let somebody dictate your worship and your praise? Only you know what God done done for you. Can't nobody tell your story better than you. That's like his story. That's right. And this is like what it says 23. It says, for the children of Ammon and the children of Moabite stood against the inhabitants of Mount Seir. See, Mount Seir was a, a mountain region city. And they were strong and mighty. So the Moabites and the Amalites couldn't, couldn't fight individually against that company, that country. So they, they got together and destroyed Mount Seir. And then it says it did destroy Mount Seir, and then and it slew, destroyed them. And when they had made, and they had made an end of the inhabitants of Mount Seir, every one helped to destroy another. <laughs> Imagine, I mean, the devil has no win in your praise. In my in my day. My corner. You ain't got no win on my corner. This is my corner. <laughs> my dope corner. Now you got a corner with the glory of God. <laughs> See, he ain't tell you his testimony, so some of y'all are like, what is he talking about? Well, I was a drug dealer, <laughs> a drug smuggler, a drug addict. Been free 37 years. No relapses. <laughs> Don't want to go back to that crap. That's doo doo. I don't go back. I'm sorry. I got on the internet. I would throw up, vomit. Sorry about that. I want to go back to that stuff. They used to be. I mean, why? <laughs> Turn back to the old me. I'm a brand new me. I'm living much, much better, much, much richer because of the Lord. But whatever I, whatever I ask the Father for, in the name of Jesus, He giveth me. I used to think that about people. I was like, how can a person be a hardcore drug dealer, come into the kingdom and sit there and be quiet and be all docile and ain't, and, ain't and, happening. And used to be out there murdering, killing people. That ain't gonna happen. Wouldn't let nobody walk on your side of the that street. Ain't gonna happen. You so how it. you come into the church? And you sitting there all quiet, and you talk about what well, a preacher did this, and, and you're already offended by about to run out the building. Your, your covenant is with God, not with no man in no building or That's no denomination. Right. God is the one who saved them bullets from killing you. That's God right. is the one who kept the police from arresting you and throwing you in the jail for the rest of your life for weed, and it's legal now. No holes, <laughs> no knife marks. I'm 66 years old, and look at me. <laughs> the glory of God has sustained my health. I put the word on my body. Every day I, I, I try my best to give God praise. I give God praise every day. But I give I get scriptures on it. Psalms 150, 145 through 150. Read all five of those. And it's praising God, guys, for his goodness, for his greatness. He's our, he's our father. Act like he's our father. Where do we leave off that? Because I want to make sure we finish. 23. 23. Yeah. Okay, so for, for the children of Ammon, Moab, stood up against the happiness of Mount Sir, utterly slay and destroy them. And when they had made an end... I love that end word. When they made the end of the inhabitants of sea, when he destroyed, it's gone. Everyone helped to destroy another. That's right. 24. And when Judah came toward the watchtower in the wilderness, they looked unto the multitude, and behold, there were dead bodies fallen to the earth, and none escaped. None escaped. Come on, how can that be? <laughs> Talk to these cameras. I mean, I mean, how can that be? <laughs> none escaped. Your praise. Your word, your praise, dancing before the Lord. If you just move your hand, one finger, praise the Lord, praise the Lord. That works, believe me. God see that. If you're crippled, believe God for healing. Praise him. If there's a problem, look me up. I'll come lay hands on you, glory to God. Where you live in India? Where you living at? I come now. Help me. I mean, I'll be there. You just talked about the other day how was it Paul, Paul, and Silas when they was in prison. Amen. Oh, come on. They they got the same praise of God. They just got a beating. 
<laughs> it's got whoop, 39 stripes on the back of the cat of nine tails. Come on, that's that's rock and glass and pottery and beds and stress. They got beat. They, they got beat they down. They are bleeding. That's right, bleeding they, back. They, they could have started complaining. We out here preaching and God's letting us get beat. They didn't beat. God let them get beat. <laughs> the gospel, they preached the word. They were the forerunner for us. They were the forerunner for us. And what did they do? They, that, they made up a song. That's right. In prison. <laughs> and when God in heaven, that's enough of that crap, shook the whole place. <laughs> Every man bonds, stocks were loose, praise God. It was made free. You the wanna, doors of the, the prison, <laughs> that, that prison was condemned after that. You want to lose your family from sickness, Come disease, on start praising God. That's right. Drug addiction. You want to lose your neighborhood, you want to get them people evicted out, start praising God. You know, God, if you praise the Lord, your husband will come back home. God will fix your marriage. For his mercy endures forever. Because your love for God will shine on that guy or that woman will bring them back to the house. And your love for them will cause forgiveness to come by. But praising God is your love to fare with the Father. It's part of your first love, guys. Praise is who we are. We're the offer of the sacrifice of praise. It's a sacrifice. What he says in 1 Peter, we're kings and priests to offer the real kingdom, we're a kingdom of praise first, to offer up the sacrifice of praise to God. Then it says in Revelation chapter 1, verse 5, says that we're a kingdom of we're a kingdom of priests. And we're, we are kings and priests until the Most High. Get it right in a minute. We're, we're, we are kings and priests until the Most High God. Kings and priests until the Most High God. That's who he says we are. That was, that, now that was John, word from God the Father, via, via Jesus, by the Holy Ghost to us. Calling us queens and kings, kings and queens, to the Most High God. Your creator. That's right. Not your and, mama, and, not your daddy. And learning what faith is, guys. Learning, he said, now think about this. Man don't want you to know that God's given to you a measure of his faith. Learn what it is, guys. Study the scriptures. You have to. I mean, there are guys preaching. I mean, I can mention some names right now. I love to hear. You know, I love Kenneth Copeland. I love Bill Wilson. I love Kenneth, 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 Kenneth Hagin. And there are other folks, too, other than that, that they're sharing the love of Jesus. It ain't far out there. They ain't far enough for me. Or they keep on getting out there. I mean, they, they're walking in the glory of God. Brother Hagin, you see the glory, the cloud, the sparkling clouds was visit with him. People will get saved. Is it happening in your ministry? Huh? How much glory is coming in your ministry? We've been so critical of people. You gotta preach Jesus for the glory to show up. That's the only way. He says, if he says, I'll be lifted up, I will, he said, I will draw men. Not you. Not your eloquent speech. You lift him up, man. Scott said, I love you, Jesus. Bless you, folks. Man, we're going to pray for folks like Sean said. I, I promise you, man, I, we can, I can go all night on this, man. Love is contagious. It is. It's contagious. When, God is contagious. When, when people see love, they want it. You see a couple all hugging and kissing. And you, you be Amen. hating on them for a minute, but you're like, man, I wish I had that. Amen. That's the first thing people say. 25, and when Jehoshaphat and his people came to take away the spoil of them, they found among them in abundance both riches with the dead bodies and the precious jewels which they stripped off for themselves, more than they could carry away. Now, is it, check them out. What if you go on the if you go on the wall? Would you take your your, your treasure with you? Heck no. You leave it in the house in the bank somewhere. Well, these folks took all this stuff with them. Wonder why? They got Rolex. I mean, they, they, they cattle with them. They find his horses with them. Why? Because God knew they're going to be destroyed because he had a folk that would stand up and proclaim him as Lord and Savior. You know what I hear? God, already, God, your blessing is already set up for you. It's waiting on you. Amen. You ain't waiting on God. Begin it's to praise him. There. Yeah, Be it's, begin it's to there. praise him. It's there. Begin to praise him. And I, I, I know something. I, I've not asked God for anything that he has not done for me. Patiently waiting for the Lord. Giving God thanks and praise. Abundance. Abund I mean, I mean, money. Right. He says, "I found an ab abundance." That word stuck out. You know, and what? And, and I like, I like a friend of mine. I call him a friend of mine. I like this guy, Levi Thompson. I like that guy. He says, uh, "Money coming to me now." <laughs> he calling things that be not as though they really are. He believed that it is there. And then people don't have the faith to believe it. Want to want to want to That's a pro prosperity ministry. No, God is a prosperity God. He created you, did He not? <laughs> he created. He gave us his planet. Matter of fact, let's go back up a moment. Adam. He said, Adam, there was one big river came out. Went to four heads. He said, the river that goes by Havilah, 
for in Havilah, the first thing, there's gold, Adam. And the gold in Havilah is good gold, Adam. Why would God tell that able one guy there? Ain't nobody, ain't nobody there but him. And God reminded that guy gold was good. If, if gold's bad, why are you wearing it then? <laughs> you why are you buying a house and buying a car? Stop, li go live outside and live in the woods for a while. I hear the word measure. That's Amen. what the problem is. It's like people feel like they go too far. They feel like they're being in excess. It, it can turn to excess when you left watching somebody else starve and be poor. That's right. That's the only way it'll turn into something bad. But when you're helping people and doing what you... He says, what do you do about the parable of the talents? The one that had ten, he gave the extra talent. Amen. Why did he give it to the one with the two, three, four, five, six, or seven? He took the one from the, the one who didn't do nothing with it. He said, gave it to the one with the ten. So then the ten got eleven now. That, to, to us, that don't make no sense. And the guy with the eleven made, made ten more with the one he gave him. <laughs> Homeboy had, he had the secret of prosperity. How to make one to ten. Now, if it, he was living today, y'all be talking about him. He a prosperity preacher. Well, <laughs> well, criticize Jesus then. Why would men gamble for a man's undergarments? Just draws. <laughs> undergarments. They gamble for this guy undergarments now. He's on the cross. They, they, these things got blood on them. <laughs> without seen. I mean, come on. A garment without seen? They're out there gambling. For that garment. Casting lots. It's for your old song what we're talking about. You know, and that guy garment, Jesus, our Savior, that guy, Jesus, our Savior, walked in the glory of God. I, that garment had a presence on it that never left. Had a presence on it that never left. They digging and looking for that stuff now. So now we 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 got we are God's garments now, guys. Exactly. They're uh, looking for something that's greater is he. That's in me. Yeah, it's already it's in you. They're looking around for something. In you, he's in you. People looking for the Ark of the Covenant. He's, he's in, in you. you. The he's word, in you. The word's supposed to be in your heart. He's in you. From your belly shall flow rivers of living water. I mean, he's in you. Think about that. You looking around. Say with place. me, he's in me. Just keep saying it. Then begin to praise him, because he's living in me. And man, woo. Well, that's what it says when it says, believe in the Lord your God, so shall you be established. Believe in his prophets, so shall you prosper. So what it is is when you believe, you believe, but then God will send a prophetic word Amen. that will seal that according to the word. That's how you know a prophet's a real prophet, because he's going to tell you what the word say. I got these people talking about, I got a word from the Lord. Dude, I got a whole book full of words from the Lord. Six to six books full of it. A love letter for us. We almost done it. When Jehoshaphat and his people came to take away the spoils of them and found among themselves abundance. That's what I hear the Lord saying. And we know we've been talking about it since... So I met him, that's all we've been talking about is abundance. Because God allowed you to come in cahoots with some people to believe the way you do. Amen. And that's important. Some seasons you can roll by yourself and be all right. But there are seasons where you need somebody. Oh, you know him too? Ain't that what Machessa did and Abraham did? Sure did. And Abraham was out there like, man, I'm out here. I think I'm crazy. I, then God sent somebody to him and said, look here. You know him too? The king of Jerusalem at the time. <laughs> and what did he do? He, he gave him a tithe. That's right. He, as a matter of fact, he brought Abraham bread and wine for the whole army, 300 plus guys. Then Abraham gave the guy a tenth part of all he recaptured. That was of gold, silver, and, and people, animals. He gave Melchizedek a tenth part of that. King of Salem. That's another thing that's messing up people's blessings because for some reason y'all think the tithe is no longer needed. I hear people tell me, oh, that's the Old Testament. That's Hebrews right. chapter 7. Hebrews chapter 7. Need to read that about tithing. You, you read it, guys. You either believe God or you don't. That's you, can't, right. you can't pick, well, I'm going to believe this one, but I ain't going to believe this one. You got to eat the whole thing. And if you want to live under the curse, well, go on. Eat both. <laughs> read what happened to Israel. Live like that. Go through that crap if you want to. See, we got, I got the fire of God in me. Can't you tell? The glory of God is in me. Can't you tell? If the glory of God is in you, <laughs> can't if he's you in you, God ain't, God ain't pole in you. God don't get pole. You can't make God pole. I like it. If you sitting under somebody, I'm gonna make somebody mad. If make you mad. if you sitting under somebody and you ain't getting better, <laughs> but bitter, you better find somebody. You better go. run. Find somebody to go. You better run like Joseph ran from Potiphar's wife. You better leave 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 your time and get. Look here, I got a brother I love dearly, and, and God was trying to promote him, and I had some old dead person call me and be like, Nah, it ain't his time yet. I'm like, That's a daggone shame that a grown man with another man tell him what God is saying to him. And all I can do is God wouldn't let me do nothing. All I can do is shake my head. I said, oh, God wouldn't let me do nothing. We, you know, we, we got to be obedient. As men of God, women, we, got, we can only go as far as God. We can't convince you. We can't coerce you. You have to want it. 
what's that, as a deer panting after water? You ever seen a deer running around? For number one, they scared of getting chomped on because everything, everybody eat deer. <laughs> Seems like it is. Everybody, deer is on everybody's menu. And looking for water. So they, so they, they, they thirsty. After running from the lion, running from the, they looking for some bubbles. Running from us? As a deer panting after water. It's going to be quit your water so I can keep running. So we running for Jesus. We ain't running from nobody. We running to Jesus. Amen. We running this race of faith. Amen. He says, race so, of faith. This is the part I love right here. It says, it says and when Jehoshaphat and his people came, take where the spoil of them, they found among them uh, in abundance, both riches with the dead bodies and precious jewels, which they stripped off for themselves, which then they could carry away. And then were three days in gathering of the spoil. It was so much. Can you imagine three days collecting? Everybody got rich then, baby. <laughs> Even the daughters got rich. The Lord made it rain way before these worldly people. We Even the daughters got rich. Lord have mercy. You know, and but they didn't. It didn't last them very long. Nah. They walked in the flesh again. Read. I'm not even. I'm not even gonna go there with y'all because we've been on here for a minute. But read, read, read the end of that chapter. That because when God do what He's gonna do, you need to understand who you can't hook up with. You gotta stay connected. That's why I stay around people like this. Praise and people, and people praise who, who fear and worship God. That's right. I do that on purpose. Praise God. Praise. You want to pray us out of here? Yes. Father, we give you thanks and praise for your goodness. Don't close your eyes. Don't, don't, don't bow your head. Don't, don't act religious. Look at, the, look, at, look, at, look at the stream. And, well, they ain't doing that. I, I mean, we're we, we doing this together. We, we, we're, we're petitioning our Father who loves us. And he sees us. God's no fakes when you know him. You can't hide from God the glory. You can't hide from the Holy Ghost. So just pray. Father, bless my family. Bless your family right now, Lord. We're, your, we're the body of Christ. We're your children, Father. Here we are, humbling ourselves before you in the name of Jesus. We know that you've done great things for us today. A word you've given to us to praise you. To praise you. And to seek your face as a deer panders for water. So praise him, guys. And I, I promise you, my name is Stanley Love. If you want to look me up, look, my name is Stanley that's Carl Love name. Sr. That's real you name. know, and that's who I am. And what I'm talking about is real. If you're tired of sinning, you want out of that sin, praise him. You'll get delivered. You want, you want prosperity? Praise him. Do what he has says. He said these things. Father, thank you for this great day you've given to us. You have made this for us. So we celebrate you, Lord Jesus, in your resurrection. Now you have the, you're on the throne of God, no longer on the cross. Until your throne I come. Thank you, God, for the throne I'm coming to worship you and praise you today. We receive our victory. And bless those that heard this message today, those that are reading it right now, in the name of Jesus. Amen. Bless y'all. Amen. I'm about to get out of here, but um, this is our first preacher's perspective. I'm going to be doing these everywhere I go. When I come to Columbus, I'm going to grab some preacher's. Do the same thing. We was uncutting. We ain't had no kind of, we ain't talk. I just told him what time I was going to be here at the studio, and he showed up. He opened up the text and started talking, and the Spirit told me, turn to that, because I've been eating that since uh, 20, 2013. And that's the word God gave me for y'all. <laughs> Praise. Hey, it's, it's fresh. It's Praise. a fresh manner. Praise. This ain't no, this ain't no day old bread. This ain't something that we talked about doing. <clears throat> it's, it's life old bread. <laughs> Bread of life for us. It's always going to be raw and uncut. Amen. That's the way I live. Because, you know, God, is. that's just the way he is. He's fresh. Even in 2019, he's fresh. He's brand new. And he's thorough, guys. Amen. He don't leave nothing to the imagination. It's more than you can imagine or think. Amen. So, uh, God bless y'all. And I'm going to clock out of here. I'm going to get out of here by 5, which I'm still doing pretty good. It's only about 4 something. About 4.34. But, you know, my time was um, 3 to 5. We get to book this studio for... For two, they never used it for the glory of God, but it's been used for the glory of God mm -hmm. now. So it will never be the same. God bless y'all. Talk and to you. We're across from Trump International Golf Course. He, he on his way here. He'll be here at four o'clock today. Too. So we're praising God across from the, our president, <laughs> our president's golf course. In this palace. Anyway, praise God. Love you guys. All right.